Hey guys, Ender Fizz here. I'm a new channel. Please show some support and enjoy the video. I'm stranded on an island for 100 days. I have limited supply of food and water. I have to craft a raft and fish around the island, scavenge shipwrecks and floating debris, and need to build the perfect base to sustain me in everything I need. There are also tons of dungeons and bosses I have to defeat. Can I make it? Tune in to find out. What is up guys, in today's video we're gonna be surviving 100 days on a stranded island. And here we are, this is the canvas which I will use to transform everything. We got a little river here, we got trees, we got dirt blocks, sand, Oh, we even have a little monument here. Looks like an abandoned house, oh there is a chest here. And, oh, let's go, we got starter gear. That's real nice. Compass, coal. I'm also pretty sure this is a campfire. I see some type of mob over there. It's a red coral skeleton. I'm gonna try and defeat it with my axe. Let's see, is this guy friendly? Oh! There we go, I got him. Oh, but he did so much damage. And this is the end of the island. Okay, I see. Okay, I'm gonna try and get some wood and get some starter gear. By the way, I'm playing as a, a sack boy. Yep, I'm just a sack boy. Can the sack boy survive on a stranded island? I don't know. There we go, that's our first pickaxe. Let's get some stone. And now we can easily get ourselves a stone pickaxe. Yep, okay, mission successful. We got the tools. I'll collect all the cobblestone around this area, but uh, most of it is just staircases and slabs, so that's pretty useless. I'm gonna take a few stones from here. The sun is also going down and I don't have a good food source or food supply to keep me not hungry, not dying from starvation. Okay, let me get a axe going. There we go, that's a stone axe. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty difficult for the first few days, but uh, as soon as I get a farm going with the trees, with some wheat, also a fish farm, I can actually start uh, focusing on my base. I'm gonna break a little bit of grass to get these seeds over here. Because that's literally gonna be our food source, except for, of course, fishing. Okay, how much did we get? We got uh, six wheats. Okay, I also started the day pretty late, so it is a uh, sunset, literally. I'm gonna take this chest, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and find the cave system. I walked around the island and uh, there were no caves, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make my own. It is also literally nighttime, and the skeletons are literally spawning in. Oh no, and the creepers as well. Okay, so quickly go down. I don't want to get killed by these mobs. Okay, we got a lot of mobs in this cave. Let's see if I can defeat them. So there is a skeleton here. Oh, I think he was, uh, yeah. He can't get me because he's in the water. Let's see, what is this stuff that's glowing? Oh, it's just iron ore. That's sick. Let's go, one more iron ore block. That's one more. We got a lot of mobs, so I better be careful. I don't know what I found, but uh, this place looks pretty different from the rest. These blocks are, I think, prismarine ore, or they... Yeah, I think this is a water dungeon. I wonder, can I take this? Okay, so what is this? We got prismarine crystals. Sick. I also hear a drowned zombie, so that's not good. Yo, anyone home? Nope, don't see nothing. Oh, but I do see a ton of prismarine ore. Just got out of the underwater cave, and I see that there is water dripping from the sand. So my plan is to actually, I think cover myself with this cobblestone so the falling sand wouldn't kill me and if I just break this sand then it should open up a way for the ocean. Let's go. Hide. Okay. Ocean opened up. Let's go swim up. Oh, it's daytime. Let's go. Swim. Swim. We are on the surface. Oh, I see a village. Are, are these guys friendly? Oh no. Swim up. Swim up quickly. Oh, finally. Oh, that's the island over there. Okay. So we got a underwater village here, I think. And if I'm not mistaken, these guys are friendly. Let's see. Hey, what up, buddy? You friendly? Yeah, they're villagers. And uh, let's see. I think maybe they want some prismarine crystals. 
Nope. Okay. I think these guys want Prismarine Ore. And uh, it's literally found in the caves. But I still don't have it. I still don't have it. So uh, if I get it, I can literally trade with them here. Is that a barrel? I think it is. Let's go. I'm gonna check it out. Hopefully that will not agitate the villagers. Oh, let's go. We got some pretty good loot. Okay, swim up. I literally have one heart and that's not good. Ah, finally we are on the surface. This was a pretty dangerous expedition. But we did get a lot of stone and also a lot of ore. There's the good old crafting table. I'm gonna get myself a furnace. Let's put in the coal and the iron ore. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna craft myself some boats. I can't believe this, but I spent a little bit more time in the caves than I expected. It is getting nighttime already again. I'm gonna craft a shield just so I would be more prepared to fight off the mobs this time. That's an iron chest piece, and I don't have enough for pants. Okay, this is much better. Now, Sackboy is literally prepared to fight off any mobs that spawn here. I didn't expect so many mobs to actually spawn in, so don't judge me, guys, but I am on a tree. I'm gonna spend my night here, and when it's daytime, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna get some food, because I need to heal myself up. Whoop. Can I catch some fish? Literally from this tree. I literally see a fish over there. There it is. Is it gonna bite? Oh. Let's go. Oh. What did I get? I got a jellyfish. And is it edible? Oh, no. You know what? Jellyfish, they sting. I don't... I really don't want to test it out when I have literally half a health. There are also skeletons literally still over there. And they didn't despawn. So, uh, I'm not getting off this tree until I catch some fishies. Let's go. So what do we get this time? Red grouper. Let's go. For some reason, I can't... I can't cook them? Okay, so can I eat them raw? Let me see. Yeah, I can. Okay, that's good. Oh, but I can cook the jellyfish. And it turned into a slime ball. Oh, are you serious? I'm gonna get a iron hoe and quickly get myself a farm going because this food problem, it's not normal. I don't think I can make it out long like this. Hmm, I think I should probably make the farm above water. Because uh, these dirt blocks, they, yeah, it's not working. I gotta make it above water, so I need a shovel. I'm also gonna make myself a dagger, just in case maybe I can skin the fish, which I catch, and then cook them. I'm also not gonna lie, this is a pretty difficult start to any 100 days I've ever had. I never had food problems like this. Okay, this should definitely be enough. What is this? Why is there fish on the ground and, and they just all died for no reason? What is that in the distance? I think I'm surrounded by some pretty weird stuff with this island. Two stacks of dirt. I think this is literally enough. By the way, I think I totally, totally forgot about something. This island, it's literally surrounded by kelp. So, uh, seaweed. I think I can cook it and it will literally give me food. I think I can eat this. But I'm not sure yet. I'll have to check it out. Look at all this kelp. While I'm gonna cook it, I'm also gonna finish up with the farm real quick just to plant the first seeds. I've got nine seeds. I think, I think this is good enough. Nine seeds, there we go. Plant, grow, I believe you can grow. Place a torch right here. That's, that's the farm going... <laughs> Yeah, just a little farm. But let's go, moment of truth. Yes, we can cook some kelp. Let's go. I'm gonna clean this place out and get myself a first little base going. To be honest, this is not a, not a base at the moment. It's just a little wall, a little fortress to keep all the bad mobs out. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Let's see how's the kelp going. Nine dried kelp. So can we eat this? Yes, we can. We literally have food. We literally have food. Let's go. Can I heal myself now? Uh -huh. I thought I'd never see this. I'm regaining my health. I'm gonna wait over the night and get some glass. Finish off with the house and then uh, then we're gonna have to expand the island. Terraform it. Get the farm going even better. Even, even bigger. It's a brand new day. Yes, let's go. And uh, I'm gonna get some, get some sand. It's gonna take a little bit, but I believe I can do this. 
that's the shovel gone, and we did get a lot of sand, so, uh, yep, that's a job, job well done. I'm gonna get myself a second furnace, place the sand like this, eat the kelp, eat the kelp, I hope. I hope I'll not be become the kelp man when uh, this 100 days challenge is over. Let's go place these doors. This is looking more and more like a real home. We got more seeds for uh, the garden. Just a little bit. Oh, was that bone meal? Where did this come from? Oh, from these guys, huh? Okay, well, I am ready now. Let's see if you can win me in this match. Ooh, that's a good block. There we go, we got them. These coral skeletons, they're pretty crazy. But uh, as you can see guys, the base is going along pretty nicely. I decided to go against the windows, cause uh, I think this will be just a little temporary base. I will make my real home a little bit bigger, a little bit better than this. This is just a temporary home. Do I have five more cobblestone blocks? And yep, this is enough, let's go, let's go, we got this. To make a campfire, I have to put some, uh, okay, I see logs, coal, and sticks together. Ooh, let's go. We are getting a lot of glass. So if we do this, like so, and where are the logs? Boom. Okay, we got a campfire. Nice. I'm gonna place it right here, just in front of the base. And you know what? I think I am gonna use the glass as the rooftop because I don't have any other blocks and I also want to see the clear sky when it's nighttime and stuff like that. Look at the stars. All out of glass? Or am I? Just finish off the job like so. Boom. There we go. I think that is the base kind of finished. finished. It's just my first base. Nothing much. But uh, I think tomorrow we will go ahead and explore the ocean a little bit because I did see some pretty cool stuff, some hidden chests in the in the ocean, on the ocean floor, and also some dungeons. Maybe we can get some good loot from that. And we are off to your first destination, which is uh, just some, I guess, ocean logs in the water. I mean, I've already collected these things, but uh, I guess I can get more of them. There is uh, something underwater, let me see. Hammerhead sharks! Okay, this is uh, pretty sick. Pretty sick, and there's two of them. I don't think they're aggressive, or maybe they are. But I also saw a village over there. So let's go, I'm gonna pick up the wooden pieces. Hmm, are they, f will they attack me? I don't know. I think YouTube videos tell me that, oh, the sharks are so friendly, they never kill people. They're not a threat, but uh, I think the YouTube videos, they're lying. Is he attacking me? Does he want to eat me? I'm a sack boy. Let's go, I'm gonna go into the water. <gasps> There's uh, two chests over there. Let's go, can I... Will he attack me? No, I don't think he will. Let's go, go, go. I'm gonna swim. I'm gonna swim, I'm gonna equip my shield just in case. And my skinning knife. Let's go. <gasps> no way, this is so sick. I never knew that there was so much loot underwater. Uh. Get, no, 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 get on the boat, get on the boat, there we go. Oof, okay, nearly drowned. Yep, he's uh, circling me, I think he, I think he wants a taste, he uh, saw me bleeding, I mean drowning to my death. But we did get some TNT, also some carrots. Oh no, oh, that's, that's it attacking me, okay, it freed me off the boat. These guys are not friendly, they're not friendly. I'm gonna make it follow me, so it would go away from the chests. Jump, swim, go, 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 go. I believe I can do this. Oh, we got more, uh, more gear over here. Oh, my inventory is full. No way, no way. Okay, go up, go up, 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 up. Oh, the shark is literally on my boat. I gotta be careful. Luckily, I am pretty close to my island, so I will go ahead and just load off all the stuff I got. Let's go. There's a chest. I'm gonna place it over here. Yep, just dropping off all the junk, all the junk which I don't need at the moment. Ah, it is getting pretty late again. I think I'm gonna spend the night here and uh, when it's daytime, I'm gonna go ahead and explore a little bit more. I wasted a lot of daytime today, just, I don't know, AFKing, finishing off the garden. So it's looking pretty good right now. It should sustain me when it grows I'm and I will have no problem expanding it. But right now, it is... Uh, 
It is night time, so uh, I'll see you guys when it's daytime. What is this? What did I just pick up? A shark tooth! No way! Let's go, is, he, is, is the shark dead? I don't think it is, I think it just bit the boat. And that's why it's, uh, it lost the tooth. Let's go, gonna pick up the rest of the junk. Oh no, that's a zombie. That's a drowned. Go, go, go. Swim up. Oh, this is pretty close. Oof, okay, I was nearly out of breath. Let's go. Let's find some place else to lead up. Oh, that's a lot of fish over here. You know what? I think I will try ahead and... Uh, Catch these fish by hand, because I think that's gonna be a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's way better, I think. Yep, tropical fish, but... Oh, I gotta go up. It's pretty difficult without the oxygen. If I could get some scuba gear, that would be perfect. But I think I can only find them in shipwrecks. So right now, I will have to do without them. There we go. Got the zombie. Oh, that's another underwater village. Let's go, we got a lot of barrels here. Oh, even more seeds and fish. That's good. But uh, I'll have to swim up right now. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. You cannot even imagine, guys. Oh, all the fish I killed, uh, they appeared over here. Let's go. Hmm. I knew I saw something in the ocean. We got some boats. We got some big, <gasps> big boats over here. And also some... Oh, no, what's, what's that sound? I don't know what that sound was, but uh, we also have some kind of structure over here. I think these are literally bones. Let me see. Oh, wow. What creature did die right here? These, bone, these bones are huge. I'm gonna eat up and dive down. Let's see. Is there anything in these bones? Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, whoa. Okay, so uh, we, we were pretty lucky. We are pretty lucky. Let's go up. I found a giant skeleton of some monster, and inside of it, there is a chest with literally diamonds and gold. Let's go, enchanted pants. I'm gonna eat up a little bit, and I also want to check out these uh, pirate ships. Okay. I'm definitely not ready for that pirate ship. I need better gear. But let's see, what's uh, what do we got here? I think I hear some pillagers. Oh! Oh, yep, they're shooting me. Quickly block. There we go. Throw him in the water. Easy. Easy. Oh! Oh no, we got one more pillager. They threw me in the water. I'm gonna use my skinning knife to get rid of these these guys. No! Don't break my boat! He's literally breaking my boat. Okay, I got two guys. I'm gonna eat the carrots and heal myself up. I see some chests. Two, in fact. There's a skeleton. I just got rid of it. Oh, we got a barrel, some gunpowder, coal. Gonna block off the bottom, oh, the bottom of the boat in case uh, more mobs come up. I think we got even better pants. More TNT. This chest, oh, let's go, we got emeralds. And we finally got a chest. I mean, I mean a helmet, we got a helmet. Oh, no, it's getting really late. Oh, let's go, we got a backpack. Let's go, we got a backpack. I'm gonna equip it. Oh, and we can also craft some torches with it. Yes, let's go. Now we can store all the junk inside of the backpack, so that's good. I'm gonna grab more TNT and gunpowder, and then I think it's literally time to head back home, because uh, this this was a pretty, pretty good day. But I'm, I am definitely not strong for that ship over there. I think there's gonna be even a boss over there, so I am literally not ready for that. I also hear so many skeletons inside that boat. Oh, 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 we got a raft and a chicken. What happened here is the... Can I loot this? What is this chicken doing here? Oh, I can't get on the raft. Oh, but I can drive it. Okay. Damn. Okay. This is a lot better than my boat. My little flimsy boat. You know what? I'm taking this. But I'm gonna get rid of these zombies. I'm gonna save you, chicken. Don't worry. I got rid of the zombie. Gonna get rid of this one as well. I can't let nothing happen to my little chicken. Yep. There we go. You're safe now. Ah, uh, just look at that, guys. That's the pirate, pirate island, no, stranded island that we're making our home on. And we're coming in with so much loot. This was a pretty successful expedition. Ah, just like always, we got a lot of spiders, a lot of different mobs spawning around. But let's go quickly inside of the base. Close the door, there we go. Oh, also, if I'm not mistaken, 
I can use the backpack to open up the bed. There is a bed built inside of it, I think. There we go. Put it like this on the floor and boom. Yes, let's go. We got a bed. We literally have a bed. Okay, guys, I'll see you. I'll see you when it's daytime. These days are, are gonna be so much easier and more productive now. Let's go. I'm gonna take some diamonds, gold, and ingots, and I'm gonna craft myself some better tools. A diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. Yep. Can't go wrong with a sword, to be honest. What the? <gasps> Let's go. We found we we found a chicken. A chicken spawned on the island. Hey there, little buddy. Are you okay? Are you lost? How did you get on this stranded island? This is insane. Okay, so we're gonna have cake. But, oh, we need sugar for cakes. But I think... I have an idea. What is the best place to fish? If you guys said the port or uh, the pier, then you are correct. I'm gonna have the best pier, and I'm gonna have all my boats parked up here. All the the little boats, the little raft, and the little wooden boat. That's, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> no, no zombie. Wait, do you... St that was torch, huh? I never knew that uh, torches could do that in the water because I think it was a normal torch and then it just kind of lost the fire. Okay, yep. I'm not. I'm not doing this. I'm going to sleep. Ah, home sweet home. Okay, I still. Oh, how did you get in here? Did you spawn inside? Did he literally spawn inside? Oh, I. I forgot. I didn't put up the torches. There we go. Seems I didn't put up enough. But, uh, I still sleep in my backpack, I guess. Because, uh, yeah, nothing much just changed. 
I didn't find any sheep, but uh, it's it's okay. It's okay, I guess. I'll see you guys when it's daytime. We're gonna finish off with the pork. Yep, I think this is good enough, so I'll just have to make a few little adjustments like this to park up, you know what, the boats? There we go, I think that's good. I'm also gonna place a few torches like this. Beautiful. Eating dry kelp, getting my uh, boat parked up like this. Oh, I think the raft is a little bit too big, in fact, for uh, this thing. So let me get my axe. It's a little bit too big. What if I expand it? Like this. Yep, like this. I think this will be better. Okay, now I have to go back and get my boat. Oh, unfriendly cube. Oh, I think I hit something and it literally blinded me. I better be careful. I think there is uh, something in the water that's not friendly. Okay, let me see. Let me dive in. Oh, I think it was these fishes. Oh, oh, okay. Or maybe that drowned zombie. I don't know. Let me see. Did you fishies do this? No, I don't think you did. But you know what? I'm still gonna take you. Because I need food. Oh no, get away, zombie. I just need the fish. The fishies. Uh, it's so useful when they float up. Because it's always so much easier to catch fish. You don't have to really dive in. Oh. I think I'm stunned again. Oh, I think it's this thing right here. Okay, luckily it didn't kill me. It just dropped me to really low health. But look at that, guys. You see, you see that? That's a jellyfish. They're insanely small. I'm gonna get it. And uh, did it drop itself? No, I don't think it dropped me a jellyfish. But I did catch a jellyfish and I uh, tried it up and ate it. And it was very yummy. It is time. It is time to expand the farm. Some crops haven't grown. I don't know why they didn't grow yet. Hmm. That's pretty weird. But uh, I will expand the farm. About a... Uh, I think I will double it. Because we do need a lot of bread. Because I am so tired of eating this dried kelp. It's literally so bad. There is also our building over there. I will show you the progress when I finish the farm. And the, the, the building itself is not really done yet. I need to finish off the roof, but it's going along pretty good. Oh, I think there is a zombie throwing a trident at me. And uh, yep, I do have a lot more dirt. Let's go. Place it like this. Where's the zombie? There he is! Can, can, oh, he's literally reaching me. Okay, that's pretty dangerous. Pretty- oh, dude! St stop doing that! Why is he throwing it so fast? Get away, zombie! Okay, boom. Good. The farm has been upgraded. Get the shield out of my hand. There we go. I think we're about to eat bread, finally. It took a little bit, it took a little bit of time, but I'm not complaining, complaining as long as I get to eat some bread. Okay, let's uh, get these crops. Ooh, that's pretty fast. I really hope I picked up everything and it just didn't fall into the water. I think I'm good. Ah, and I have, whoa, I have a lot of seeds. So many seeds and a full stack of wheat. Let's go. I'm gonna plant seeds. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, we just missed a spot right here. Boom. Boom. There we go. That's a full garden growing. And uh, hold up. I can't believe I just got one stack of wheat because I, I literally spent just two stacks of seeds. On the farm but hold up oh I spent two I just doubled it so this is one stack this is another stack okay I see then that makes sense let's go ahead and get ourselves some bread because I am pretty low on hunger and I want to see how it tastes like I literally forgot what it what it tastes there we go two breads two pieces of bread how much will they replenish oh that's so good 
That is so many hunger bars replenished. You guys can't believe how happy I am that I got this food source secured now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 19 piece of bread and more to come. Let's go. Taking out my boat for a little swim because I do want to explore the ocean a little bit more Maybe find some more hidden chests with gold and diamonds plus you never know maybe we will find something interesting Okay, I found another village over here. We got some more uh, Some more sea dwellers. Howdy there partners. How is it going? Unfortunately, I do not have any uh, what, what do you call it prismarine crystals? I think they want but uh, let's see, can I loot, uh, loot up this place? We do have, I do have an axe, there we go. And you know what, I'm short of breath, gotta go up. I will loot up this village. And uh, get some use, uh, not useless, but useful, useful stuff from them. I hope they didn't hear me, but uh, I don't know how useful bookshelves are. We don't have any obsidian yet, but let's go. This must be the library. Let's go, let's take these books. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, let's go. We got a scuba gear. We got scuba gear, guys. Oh, quickly lead up, lead up. Okay, I'm gonna go back up in a little bit. First, I need to get some air. Because, yeah, I don't want to drown. I don't want to drown. Okay, so we do have scuba gear. Let's see if it will work literally instantly. So if I just put this on, how much armor does it give me? Oh, that's pretty good. And, uh... <gasps> I can breathe underwater. No way. I can literally breathe underwater now. This is insane. Okay, and I'm gonna pick up the rest of the junk that I just threw out. I'm also gonna take these furnaces. Oh, I think the scuba gear literally allows me to break stuff underwater without uh, repercussions. I'm gonna take these furnaces. There is also durability on the scuba gear, so I gotta be careful with that. Oh, there's a hidden barrel over here with a crossbow and arrows. Yes, I'm definitely taking this. And did I loot up everything here? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. I'm gonna take these bookshelves just as a final piece, and then I'm ready to go. You don't wanna trade, buddy? You're called Murph Morph Architect. Okay. So he's the guy that probably built this place. Go up to the raft. There we go. We are safe again. Whoa. This is a huge... Oh no. Quickly, quickly. Use the shield. This is a huge sample. It's so big. Let's see. Can we uh, get up from the top? No, we can't go in from the top. Okay. Okay. Dude, this is pretty insane. I'm gonna block these guys. Can I block with a shield? I don't think I can. Okay. Then I'm gonna go inside quickly. There we go. I think I'm safe now. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. Oh, no. Gotta be careful. There's so many of them here. Can I... Oh, because I'm literally... I, I have scuba gear. I can break the water sample. But, uh... Is it okay if I can break it? Can I literally break it normally? I don't know if this is normal. Oh, you gotta go up. This is so sick. I don't think I've ever did a underwater sample this big before. There we go, I got this guy. Oh, we got more of these guardians spawning in here. There we go, got him as well. Now I just gotta find the boss. Where is the boss? Oh, I can go up. Oh, I can go even more up. Wait. Oh, no way. I think I know what this is. This is a portal to Atlantis. I think it is. I think it is. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it. No passing the gates of Atlantis. Oh, I'm teleported. Welcome to Atlantis. Oh, no way. Guys, we we just found our way into in Atlantis. Pretty much. Yep. This is uh, pretty cool. But, oh, I also think it's a little bit dangerous. We gotta be careful. I don't know what resides in here. But this is uh, just another literal dimension. Like the nether. But it's for the water. We got squids. We got fishies. I'm gonna get some food real quick. 
Okay. Let's see. Can I find anything useful here? I just equipped my torch. And, uh, yep, I am inside of some type of crevice. And there is a prismarine ore, I think. I think this is called prismarine ore. Or maybe neptune ore. I don't know. It's called aquamarine ore. Oh, okay. So it's aquamarine ore. We can craft uh, tools with it that will literally allow us to break stuff underwater with more efficiency than the diamond pig which is already pretty fast if you ask me by the way what are these uh, black things oh i think it's uh, like bits of ore is, is that a bit of diamond I, I have to pick it up swim up swim up oh there's a chest here and we got a uh, more food i guess more carrots potatoes tnt Sugar canes, let's go, we got bamboo sticks. Wait, bamboo, sugar cane? Oh yeah, they're different. Oh no. We got a name tag also, that's good. We got a spawner, I'm gonna quickly destroy it, just in case. I am so deep in here, I don't even know where I am. What is this block? I'm, I'm gonna collect more of this prismarine ore, because you can never have enough. Also, we're gonna get a lot of ore, uh, iron ore. Because there's not a lot of cave systems around my island, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna do my mining here real quick. Is that redstone? Literally. That's so cool. I also just, uh... Unequip my scuba gear and it seems I can breathe underwater because it is Atlantis So I guess they gave us uh, a type of water breathing effect That's really useful and we are back on the surface or uh, The ocean surface that is not the world's surface. Oh uh, I don't know if this is wood or if this is just a giant clam. I think it is. I think it is or it's supposed to be. Oh, we got dolphins. We got dolphins. That's so cool. I think my objective is going to be to basically just get as much aquamarine ore as I can from this place. Oh, we got a fish swimming up, I see. These guys are called the maw. Oh, yep, they're pretty aggressive. I just killed one, but the other ones, I think they got spooked, because, uh, maybe this is their nest? I don't know, but th there were quite a bit of them here. Let's see, is this Lapis Lazuli? Yes, it is. I will definitely need it for enchanting my gear. And is this gold? Let me see. Pretty sure it is. I also wonder, do I have iron? Yeah, I do have iron. Can I just, uh... Get some lava from under this place. Is there lava under this obsidian? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a little air pocket. Like so. And uh, I'm gonna try and get some lava. Oh, oh wait. I think you literally cannot get rid of uh, water in this dimension. Let me just try it. Okay, now if I do this. Okay, we do have uh, we, we do have lava. Let's go. But I don't know. The physics are kind of weird because uh, the water it just appears out of nowhere. But there we go. We got we got lava. We got lava. Let's go. Oh, I can also fill up my literal backpack with lava. There we go. That's one thing full. Can I fill this up as well? Yes, I can. Okay, so one bucket is literally enough to fill the whole backpack. I think it's time to go back home. If I remember the way correctly, then uh, we just have to go back and uh, click the portal which we came from initially. So let's see. Oh, I think it's also daytime, so that's good. By the way, what is this place? This is like a crystal? I don't know. Let me pick up these things. I think they're called shards. And is there... Oh, there's just a prismarine ore inside of these uh, little statues, you could say. That's okay. 
That's interesting. Okay, it's time to go back. Go back to the base. Look at that. We just found a random boat here. Oh, oh, that's a lot of drowned. That is a lot of drowned. Quickly. Uh, is there anybody beside the boat? I don't think there is. I think the guy got literally killed by the drowns, or it's just a random spawn. I don't know, but uh, can I get rid of these guys? Ah, they, they have to come so close for me to hit them. Their hitbox is so far away. Okay, you know what? This is not worth it. I'm just gonna take their boat. Can I steal it? Can I steal the boat? It, oh, it's a little bit small. Is it even better than my raft? My raft has literally space for a chest filled with gold and stuff. You know what? Ah, I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna go to my island. Oh, by the way, it's pretty close. So I guess I can just uh, park up both boats and have both of them beside my port. Unfortunately, it's raining, but there we go. We got two boats parked up beautifully with with the port. And since it is raining, I think I will have to just uh, tend to the base a little bit. So let me see real quick. How are my crops growing? Oh, okay. They are fully grown. Fully grown. That's good. I think I will uh, collect them and uh, just plant them again so I can have more bread. And I also want to do it tree farm I should probably make my uh, other building my base at some point because uh, it's getting a little bit pretty pretty tedious well let's go I'm gonna play some blast furnaces because uh, I can I do have a lot of them now <laughs> there we go I also have uh, sugar canes oh no bamboo I got bamboo sticks so I'm gonna plant them around the base a little bit get them uh, growing more I guess and uh, as maybe when I have more of them I will get myself a bamboo farm but right now I'm thinking I should probably get myself some more trees planted because I do have a farm I need I need more trees yes first let's get the skeleton because he wants a little bit of that combat but uh, the sack boy never loses I wonder can I hit the skeleton through the through the fence? Boom. Mm, no, I can't. I can't. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get him. Because I do have a crossbow and I wanna use it. <gasps> oh, let's go! The bamboo is uh, literally growing. Where is the skeleton? I'm playing Doom. I'm playing Doom. Yes, let's go. Hit him once. Hit him twice. And I'm gonna finish it off with, with one swing of the diamond sword. By the way, what did he drop? Fire coral. Can I do anything with fire coral? Let me see. Fire coral. No, I can't do anything with it. Well, uh, can I at least plant it? Oh, yes, I can. But it is coral, so it should probably, like any coral, yep, like any coral, lose its color while on the surface. I'm gonna take the coal from a normal furnace, put it right here, and uh, put the aquamarine ore inside of it. So let's see, uh, what will I get from the aquamarine ore when I smelt it? Oh, let's go, I got a, I got a item.atlantis.aquamarine slash jam. Mmm, what an interesting name. That's so nice. What a beautiful item, it's like diamonds, but not quite so. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I can craft myself an underwater pickaxe that will work with Full efficiency? Underwater. Oh, maybe not. So what can I do with this? I can just smelt it. Is that it? Just smelt it. Maybe the fish villagers will want a little bit of uh, the aquamarine ore. But first, you know what? I think it's time to build a tree farm. I do have a lot of oak saplings from the previous trees that I uh, magnificently destroyed. Yep, yep, that's right. But unfortunately, all of these trees, they're literally oak, so these are oak saplings. If it was not oak, and we could probably get something like jungle saplings, that would be so much better, because they are uh, they grow into really large trees if you let, let enough time pass. And that means we would just get more wood. And you know what, speaking about wood, let me just get these trees. Because if I'm making a farm, I, I want to get all of this. Perfect. 
Oh, we also have intestines. I can right click to see what's inside. Uh, I love these loot boxes from intestines. Let's see. Boom. We got seeds and... Oh, is that clay? Yeah, that's a clay ball. Can I eat it? <laughs> no, I can't. You know what? I'm gonna take the clay seed because... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will need it at some point. I will also get these. Oh, I want to get those other trees, but... Since it is raining, a lot of mobs came out. I think they're literally fighting against themselves. Yes. Yes, that's perfect. Now I can just quietly get this. Get this. Uh, oh, get this tree. Gonna get rid of these mobs. Boom, there we go. He dropped a golden nugget. He dropped a golden nugget. No way. Oh, that's a coin. Oh, 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 oh. Run, run, run. Back to, the, back to the base. Back to the base. Oh, no. I am not dying today. I am not dying today. Where is my food? Where are my potatoes? I want them baked. I want baked potatoes. Yes. Let's go. As I was saying, I just took two baked potatoes from the furnace. How can I craft an armor stand? So a smooth stone slab. And uh, sticks like that. Okay. Smooth stone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stone. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. So I just gotta... I just gotta... Cook up some cobblestone. Okay, I have uh, one stone. And if I put it inside of the blast furnace... No. Okay, not the blast furnace. Maybe uh, just the normal furnace, I guess? Oh, it's cooking into something. Will it, will it really cook into something again? So the stone turns into... Smooth stone. Oh, wow. Okay, you learn something new every day. Huh. It is still raining, and the skeletons are still outside, but uh, look at my beautiful ceiling. That's why I made it out of glass, so I can see when it's raining. And when it's daytime, or nighttime, or whatever. I also have an iron battle hammer, and uh, is it better than the sword? I don't know, I didn't check it yet. I also messed up a little, because I didn't take any obsidian from the Atlantis biome. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll have to use up a little bit of my lava from the backpack. To create three obsidian blocks, so I can go and, uh, no, so I can enchant my gear. So let's go, I'm gonna place the bed like this, boom. I'm gonna sleep off the night. Hopefully these bobs, they will not uh, bug me. There's my there's my port over there with my two ships. My two grand ships. And it is literally thundering. So yeah, I'll see you guys when it's daytime. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep tight. I'm gonna try and sleep tight in this weather. Okay, we do have a lot of stones. So now if we cook it up, we can craft ourselves an armor stand. What? You skeleton, you didn't die yet? Oh, I think they don't get uh, sun damage because look at that, guys. They're literally covered in moss and coral. So I guess that literally blocks them from the sun. That's so cool. And this guy came under from, from under a tree. <laughs> yes, more bamboo, more bamboo. Now all I need is a panda. A panda is all I need. I need a panda. And this is all I need. Gonna take all of these bamboo sticks. And make a big farm. But I'm not sure if they grow when they're not beside water. Because I don't know. I'm not a professional bamboo grower. We're gonna have to find out. But I think my smooth stone is ready, so I can literally craft myself an armor stand. I do this. Oh, okay, I need sticks. I need sticks first. Go like this, and boom. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It was a lucky guess. It was literally a lucky guess. So if we place it right here, and uh, we can probably put our scuba gear on the armor stand. So, ooh, looking beautiful. Looking like we can really dive deep in the ocean with this. 
but I don't have the full set yet, so we're gonna have to find out if there are any more shipwrecks beside us, so we can literally just loot them up even more and find even more goodies. But let's go, I think it is time. It is time, it is time for... Uh... <sighs> you know what, guys? It's time to, for me to waste the... The lava? Like this. No, wait. What happened? What happened? Why did it not work? Quickly, collect the lava! Ah, uh, I didn't collect it. I don't think you can even collect those blocks, but hold up. How do I make obsidian? I need water? No, I need lava. And water will hit lava. Oh. Hmm. I think I know how to do that. So let me just get more uh, lava from my backpack. There we go. If I do this... Yes, let's go. We got it. We got it. Okay. Two obsidian blocks. Now I know how they're made. I just need a little bit more. So I'm gonna throw out the water. Get more lava. Okay. Now I just gotta place it above. Boom. Yes. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna mine it and get myself an enchanting table. It is a little bit more difficult on the stranded island, but uh, it is manageable as you can see guys. Completely manageable, just everything takes a little bit more effort. Let's go, let's go. It is raining again, I think it's the rainy season. A big storm may be coming to the island, and uh, I don't know if I'm prepared. Is this glass ceiling enough to withstand the hurricane? I don't know, but we will find out. <laughs> now, let's see. I will just have to do this, like that. Hmm. Like this. I've been... Oh, we need two diamonds and one book. Oh, we need four obsidian! <laughs> okay. Back to... Back to the, I don't know, the, the obsidian farm we go, I guess. Go, go, go. So if we place stuff like this, two diamonds and one book. Boom, we got an enchanting table. And now we also need to get ourselves some more books, I guess. And by that I mean bookshelves. Is six bookshelves enough? I don't think it is. I'm gonna have to use a... A lot of oak wood, which I have. But the... Why is it not working? Excuse me? Oh, that's books. No, 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 no. I need books. There we go. Okay, nine bookshelves. That's way better, way better. But I'm not gonna place them here. I will actually uh, probably start making that place my home. It is not finished yet because I need to finish the ceiling on it and literally fill it with stuff. And I think that will literally be our next goal. Okay, so this area will be filled with trees, as I said before. So I'm gonna plant them just randomly like so. Hopefully they'll grow and uh, not mess anything up. There we go, that's 16 saplings, they should grow. I'm gonna get this tree, oh no, uh, yeah, my, uh, my pickaxe, I mean my axe broke. But it is time, no skeleton, you will not shoot me. There, we, there it is, guys, this is uh, the progress I was making with the main building. As you can see, uh, it went to a stalemate a little bit, a little bit. I was busy with other stuff, but uh, I'm going huge. I'm going for uh, the size with this one. There is also a good staircase that will lead up, and I will literally have such a good vantage point for anything that comes to my little stranded island. For example, that pirate boat over there.
sharpness one. Sharpness one can never go wrong. Unbreaking on a pickaxe? Yes. Please. I'm also going to enchant my uh, diamond helmet for unbreaking. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't have a lot of diamonds yet. I'm not going to touch my iron armor. Or, you know what? Of course I will. Why would I not? I mean, I am literally going on an expedition real soon. But I can always enchant it. There we go. Now I am ready. I am so ready. I'm ready to conquer the world, I think. Oh, there's the skeleton. Quickly, get the crossbow. Aim it. Boom. Oh, no, I missed. Dodge and wheeze. Yeah. Got him. Oh, oh. Yes. I'm dodging and wheezing. Boom. Got him. And I'm going to finish it with my sword. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Probably get on my raft and explore. Although it is thundering, I guess I can't really do nothing about the weather. Because uh, it is a tropical island, I guess. With a tropical... Ooh, we got an enderman. With uh, a tropical climate. Get away! Go, 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 go! Now I can finally sprint. Gonna get on my uh, boat or raft. Boat or raft? Ah, I'm gonna go with the boat. I think it's a little bit more better. Okay, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you. In a, in a little bit when I find something interesting. Hmm, okay, we found uh, another sea monster skeleton, I see. <laughs> I see, in the sea. A monster skeleton. Yeah. And uh, we got some fishies. Gotta be careful around the jellyfish, don't want to get stung again. And uh, I'm just looking for the secret, the secret, uh, what do you call it, chest or crate? I don't, I don't know. There it is. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, diamonds, let's go. That's a lot of iron, by the way. Lightning rod? Oh, let's... Oh, no way. I think we found a lightning rod, and... Uh, if it works, if it doesn't need anything else... For example, like, magic crystals... Oh! Yo! Oh, I destroyed my swashbuckler a little. No, please, please don't drown. Please, please don't drown. As you can see, it's it has a 20 out of 20 have 5 health. 20 out of 25. Okay. And, uh, sick! We got a lightning rod that literally works, and it doesn't have durability? Yeah, it's on cooldown, it doesn't have durability, that's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna get my scuba helmet on, just so I can breathe underwater. I'm gonna try and hit these fishies with the lightning. Yes, and, uh, they didn't drop anything. Okay, <laughs> let's see if there is anything under this place. For some reason, these skeletons, they just float a little bit above water. It's kind of weird. Oh, oh, let's go. I think we found a dungeon. I f Oh, but it's underwater. There's a chest over here. Nice. Let's go. What do we have in the chest? Diamond, uh, diamond horse armor. I don't think we need this. Energy powder. Azure. Oh, I'm going to take this crossbow. Going to take the wheat. If my inventory would not be full, that is. Okay, I'm gonna craft a lot of torches. That is a lot of torches. Now I should be safe. There is another chest. Nope, nope, okay. Hold up. Energy powder. If I drink this... Oh, something happened. But I don't know what. I don't know what happened. I also, it seems can't leave this place. I think we gotta go uh, up, swim over this. This was probably a secret chest room or something like that. We got a uh, creeper statues and they light up if you right click them. That's cool. That's cool. The chest has a shielding totem. Or oh, more, more bows and stuff. And also bread. I'm gonna take the shielding totem, although I really don't know what it does. I'm also gonna take some of these statues, because they do look cool. Oh, oh, we are... Oh, oh, okay, we got mobs, we got mobs, let's go fight them. Oh, please, oh, please. Oh, okay. Luckily, I enchanted my gear, so I am pretty chill. We do have a dungeon. Oh, we got a, we got a boss. We got a boss over there, but he's, uh, I think that's, that skeleton is sleeping, so he will not wake up. Yeah, there he is. He has 1,000 health. Uh, 
please don't wake up while I'm fighting these uh, these guys. There we go. I'm gonna take this. I think this thing has a diamond in it. Let's go. By the way, do big vases have a lot of emeralds? No. No, they don't. I'm gonna take this table. What's in the vase? Oh, more emeralds and also a weapon. A Highland Axe. We got literally rugs as well, just on the floor. I'm, I'm taking all of this, because it's uh, it's good good, good things for uh, the base. I'm gonna take all the gold coins as well. This guy, it seems he doesn't want to wake up. And uh, I don't know, should I wake him up? He does have 1,000 health, but will he drop me anything good? I wonder. You know what? I think he will. I think he will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit him. I'm, I'm gonna hit him. Hit him. Let's go. I'm gonna hit him. Defeat him. Okay. Go back. Eat the bread. Hit him with the crossbow. He's uh, pretty, pretty low. Just one more shot. Quickly eat up. Let's go. Let's go. We got him. But there are two ancient guardians. I I don't know why they're literally here. Oh, that's is that him? Oh, what did I get? What did I what did I get? Got a statue. We got some terrible boots. What the? One hundred percent swimming speed. Let's go. That's good. We got a potion of regeneration. Oh, let's go. Yes, that's the one that heals me. Yes, that is literally that will literally make me unkillable pretty much. Anything else? I think maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. We also got the Goran statue. Uh, the, yeah, the Goran go got a statue. And uh, it's actually really good. But we'll have to place it at the base. I'm going to pick up these uh, creepers first. Oh, oh, we got two chests here. Nearly missed them. Mini Flages. I don't know what that is, but it must be something good. We got a new chest plate. More mini flages, a cube banner. Another chest, and we have a uh, crossbows, flails. Oh, we got a helmet. We got a helmet. Is it better than the. Oh, whoa, it's so much better than the diamond helmet. We also have an anchor. A literal anchor. Grave bane, ladle. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm gonna pick up these creeper statues, and then we're gonna make our way back. Because we just got the stash of fluid, and we really need to put it back at the base. Also, let me just put on the... Oh, I can't I can't uh, unequip the scuba helmet, but let me put on the renegade chest plate. How does it look? Oh, wow. I look so beefy. I'm, I, I look a little bit goofy. A little bit... Oh, it is night time. Let's go up and uh, try and find our boat. Get away! Get away! No, 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 no! Okay. Okay, buddy. You really had to do this. Okay, you know what? I'm not cleaning it up during the night. Or am I? If no mobs attack me, I will quickly just build it off. Because I don't want my base griefed. I'm working really hard on this, on this island. But there it is. That's my island. Get away, zombie! Get away, get away, get away! Oh, close the door. There we go. We are safe again. We are safe. Let me see. Can I equip this uh, ch helmet? Not chest pl plate, but a helmet. It's looking looking okay. I'm, I look like a knight. I don't know. Uh, were there knights that sailed on pirate ships and stuff? Because uh, I don't know. I look pretty cool regardless. And we also have a uh, anchor. Yep, just a huge anchor. Ooh, ooh, it's so heavy. Okay, and it does nine attack damage. That's not really good, to be honest. But you know what? It's an anchor. I sh I definitely have to use it. It's pretty cool. It is nighttime. I'm gonna wait out till it's daytime, and then we're gonna go ahead and. Finish off with our main base, and then I'll have to put up some walls, because uh, 
these mobs, I'm getting pretty tired of them just ruining my, my island and not allowing me to walk around it when it's nighttime. Now that is a problem. These guys, they spawn inside of my base now. I thought I put up enough torches for them not to do that, but I guess I have to just increase them. Increase the amount. There we go. What? Why is there a dirt block here? Huh. Get away, skeleton. This is uh, my home. There we go. And also, speaking about my home, I have a lot of things I want to place around this place. For example, just a few uh, creeper statues to, I don't know, scare off the predators. You could say if I light them up, hopefully they will scare away the bad mobs from spawning. One like so, there we go. That should keep them away. I also have a cube banner. I'm gonna put it here. The goddess statue will go right here. Oh, like here, and it, it glows up. It literally lights up. I don't need a torch here. And, uh, oh, I got these uh, spirit orbs back at my old base. I'm gonna pick them up, and then I can literally increase my stamina. Hopefully, that will allow me to breathe underwater a little bit more, I guess. I also have mini flags, and, uh, oh, I see. So they're, uh, I don't know. Not that useless, I guess. Gonna put the table right here. And also, I have these uh, braziers, which I want to put on the rooftop. Over here. And over here. I think the base will look so mean when it's nighttime. It's gonna be insane. We also have a horse statue. I guess I can put it just... Right here, there we go. But I do need some torches over here, boom, like that. Okay, so the place is getting filled up a little bit. I need to move all my furnaces and all my crafting benches and chests into here. And then this will look way more like a home than it currently does. But this is better. This is uh, way better than it used to be. And how is my bamboo farm going on? Pretty nice, and they also grow literally not beside water. That's really good to know. And let me just quickly go ahead and check my tree farm. How is it going? Hmm, really good, really good. We got all the trees, they're fully grown. And uh, do I have an axe? Yes, I do. There we go, a diamond axe. I'm gonna break all of these trees and collect the wood. And then I'll come back in a little bit and collect all the saplings if this spider can get away. Oh, there we go. Okay, so all the all the things are falling off. That's good. Just what I need. I also didn't think that they would be growing so close in proximity to each other. But I guess they literally do not care. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna plant even more of them because uh, I think I should have more saplings now. Eating the carrots and it's already nighttime and I didn't build any walls around the base. Why am I so slow with progress? I don't get it. But uh, yeah, why is why is this stuff not falling? Huh? Oh, okay. You know what? This is my uh, time to go. Back to the base. I'm gonna craft some uh, craft some furnaces, craft some chests, and place them inside of there to make it feel more like home. Guys, guys, check this out. I have a scarecrow. I just crafted it. Pumpkin scarecrow. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Do you, do you guys think this will save uh, my farm from the birds? They will stop eating it. Let me see. Are there any birds around this place? Hmm. Nope. I don't see any. I just see the blazing hot sun and uh, a stranded island but you know what the scarecrow it, it, it should oh okay i sucked a little bit too fast the uh, yep the sun is uh, blocked off by the clouds instantly just as i said it but you know what i'm gonna get these uh oh i think i gotta use the pickaxe no i gotta use the diamond thing i'm gonna get these bamboo sticks and i'm gonna craft even more 
forest. But I think I should probably actually choose a better area. Like a special maybe area to grow a bamboo forest. Because, uh, I don't know, I think that'd be pretty dope. Oh, what's that? Zombie villager? The, oh, I think he just spawned in. Oh, can we cure that guy? Can we cure him? Hmm, let me think, let me think. Can you cure zombie villagers? I don't think you can. Oh, that's so bad, buddy. That's so bad. But you know what? Can you go inside of my home? But hold up. Let me just, uh... Let me just quickly make a trap for you real quick. If I make a trap for him... Yeah. Come in, zombie. Come in, Mr. Zombie. There we go. Okay, that's it. I got I got two new buddies. Let's hope they will not burn up while, when it stops raining, I guess. And you know what? I'm gonna make a dungeon, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna make a dungeon. I'm gonna put them in the dungeon under this base. No one even will even know. No one will know. It's a stranded island. <laughs> I think I messed up this. I'm gonna delete this line and I'm gonna fill up both of these sides with sand and then we're gonna make the most beautiful bamboo farm.
Now I just have to fill it in. In theory, this should protect me against any mobs that want to spawn in, because I will place uh, a lot around the island a lot of torches. Okay, I'm out of cobblestone, gonna hit the base. I didn't finish uh, moving everything from this base into my new base, so yeah. Okay, that should do it. Yeah, get away zombie. It is raining already and it's night time, but uh, I did finish the wall just a little bit. I mean, you, you could say I finished it a little bit. Let me just show you guys. There, I put it up. Uh, I build it up till the base, till the other building. This will be like a small compound. It will not go across all of the island because I think that would be a waste of materials. Because frankly, these zombies, they won't stop coming. So you know what? I will go to the rooftop and I will sleep there. That is a lot of skeletons. That is a lot of skeletons. And uh, they don't die because... Uh, yeah, they don't die because of the sunlight. Because they're covered in moss and... Uh, Seaweed, I guess, and corals, but I don't like the creeper. I'd kill them, but uh, I really don't like how the creeper is looking at me. But what I want to do right now is make a mob XP farm, because I do have new gear. It's really powerful, even stronger than diamonds, and I want to enchant it. I want to make it even more powerful, but my XP level is not good enough. So... I will have to make an XP farm and I'm thinking to place it as far away from the base as I can because it's going to be pretty big and pretty ugly. So I'm going to build it here on this edge of the island. I'll also make it out of wood because I have a lot of oak planks. So yeah, let's, uh, let's basically just start this thing. And for that, I need to level out the ground a little bit. I also never did an XP farm. Uh... I mean, I did make it a few years ago, because uh, I never really had to. <laughs> so guys, if my XP farm is a little bit outdated or, you know, not the best or most optimized, please do you understand that...
what's fun about this uh, XP farm is I also I never built one like this before. I also I only did it with spawners. So uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm already doing it wrong, and uh, you're watching the video thinking, "Wow, how can he be such a such a new player in Minecraft? He doesn't even know how to build an XP farm." Well, to that, all I can say is, uh, don't judge me, because I am new. I don't, I don't know how to build these XP farms. I hope that I'm doing it correctly. If I'm not, well, I'll, I'll fix it up. Now all I need is just a few water buckets, and uh, I think it should be ready. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, go down, get some water. Luckily, we are on a stranded island, so it doesn't really matter if uh, I don't have water in my backpack. Oh, we got some squirrel reef uh, skeletons already spawning in. Quickly get my water bucket. Oh, it's at the base. Go, go, go. So now I just have to kind of uh, place a block here. I mean, uh, place three blocks, in fact, and place a water bucket. Now it... Oh, oh okay, I see. It should... Uh, it should see the hole. There we go. That's the hole. So it sees the hole, the, the closest hole it can go down to, and it it goes, it goes, it goes down. Hmm. I think I need a little bit more uh, touching up with the XP farm. I see my problem. I have to build a little wall. And if I wanna want them to spawn during the day, I have to build like an actual building, so with a roof and stuff. So how's my mob XP farm doing? Oh, we got a, uh, we got skeletons. Let's go. It's working. It's working. Okay, so we need to finish it off just a little bit better. And I think, I think we can work with this. It did spawn in a few mobs. Let's go get these guys. And uh, yeah, I, I know, I know the bottom part of the XP farm. It doesn't look that good, but you know what? It will be better. I will make it better. Right now, I literally need to uh, get myself more trees planted because I do uh, I do have a little tree shortage problem because I used a lot of wood on that XP farm. A lot of wood. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie, guys. It barely functions. Yep, it, it barely functions. Uh, they spawn in just a few, just a little bit sometimes. I messed up. I think it's not high enough or something, but uh, yeah, it's it, it sucks. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna plant these trees like this. This is gonna be my new tree farm. Oh, I think I placed them. Ah, oh, I have a full stack of trees. I think I'm pretty good. Okay, when they grow, this forest will literally be unmovable. I can I will not be able to go through this place. But there we go. That's that's the tree farm. The future, the future of the island grows here, and we got a skeleton. I mean, a creeper that's trying to ruin it. I will not let him. The farm is also going going along pretty nicely. We got a lot of wheat, so uh, my bread problems are no more. But it is raining again, so I guess I'll just uh, head inside, wait it out a little bit, and when it's uh, a little bit more clear... <gasps> oh no, oh no, we got a fire, we got a fire. Let's go, 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 go. We need to put it out. I also have a lightning rod. I gotta be careful around it uh, with that tower, because uh, I don't want it catching no fire. Okay, let's just go inside. Ah, home sweet home. How I missed you. I'm gonna take one of my boats now and uh, go ahead and explore the place a little bit. Oh, let's go. I was AFK and the trees uh, grew a little. That's good. The farm is going along really nicely, it seems. The trees grow by themselves. But uh, it seems I was AFK for a little bit too long, to be honest, waiting over the rain. Okay, I'm gonna take the raft. Oh, oh what's that? Saltwater eel. Oh, oh no. It uh, literally just attacked me. Let's go, I'm gonna take out my sword. Can I fight this guy? <gasps> no, no, I just hit the dolphin accidentally. No, let me get this eel, there we go. I got the eel, what did he drop? He dropped the raw meat. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get out of the water. I accidentally hit the the dolphin, and now it's a little bit mad, I'm, so I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, and then he will 
forget that this ever happened. I'm gonna get on the raft. I like the raft. It's literally the biggest one and probably the coolest one. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and explore the ocean a little bit and see what I can find. Let's go. We found a pirate ship. I uh, I never boarded one before because I thought my gear was pretty underpowered. But back then I had iron armor. Now I got a renegade chest plates and stalwart helmets. What the? There's another dolphin attacking me. Get away from me, dolphin. Okay, let's uh, check out this this boat. Let's see. I'm gonna climb the leaves. I hope these cannons don't shoot these fire charges at me. Let's go. I'm gonna climb up. I don't see any people here. This is a good sign. Maybe I won't have to fight nobody. What do we have in these uh, barrels? I don't see nothing. It's probably probably nothing good it seems. They're all empty. Oh! Oh, we got a little zombie. Quickly, get the sword out. Hit it! Hit it! Get the little guy. There we go. We got him. Ooh, there's a uh, stray skeletons here and they can't go outside because it is still daytime. They will get burnt up. So we do have an advantage here. Let's uh, get these guys. There we go. So what is this place? We got a skeleton head. We got this some type of table. Let me just pick it up real quick. What is it called? It's called a lectern. That's cool. That's cool. These barrels are still kind of empty. The creeper just blew up the ship, its own ship. But to be honest, the ship does look really abandoned. Let's go, I'm gonna get rid of these skeletons. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. You know what? I'm gonna drink a potion of regeneration and uh, run around. And uh, use, the, use the lightning rod if, it's, if it goes away from the cooldown. There we go, I'm gonna take a golden apple just in case. That's some good loot. That's good loot. Let's see, have we got anything in these barrels? Nope, doesn't look like it. Got the last skeleton, I think, and there is also literally fire burning the ship. I think I need to get out of this place. Ooh, okay, we got some good loot. I'm gonna take the iron ingots and the torches. Oh, no, I think we did start a fire. That, oh, that's a big fire. Go, 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 go. We gotta get out of this place. Oh, no. I really hope that wasn't me, but I'm just trying to find my literal raft. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Jump in the water. Ah. Okay. Oh, we got a sea hag over there. And we also have some type of uh, structures. Should we check that place out, guys? I think, I think we should. You know what? I do have my scuba helmet on. Let me just put it on. There we go. Let's go. Let's uh, see if there is anything cool underwater. Oh, let's go. We got a chest. Oh, oh no. The chest moved. It's, it's a mimi crab. It's a mimi crab. Let's go. If I try and open. Oh, oh, that's so creepy. That is so creepy. That's insane. Okay, what's- is this chest real? No, that was not real as well. Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's go. I'm gonna- I'm gonna check out that structure over there. It's also a little bit dark, so I'm gonna get my torches out. Let's see, is there anything good? Oh, this is a shipwreck. If we're lucky, we may find a treasure map. But, uh, we just found some gold, iron ingots, and lapis lazuli. I have a ton of lapis lazuli, so I don't need it. This chest has an empty map, paper, book, okay. Nothing good, I see. Swimming on the ocean floor. I see a pack of fishies. Let's see, can my lightning rod hit them from here? Oh, oh no. Quickly drink up. Okay, I, that was a little bit, a little bit risky. I'm gonna get these uh, tropical fishies with my with my spear. The spear is really useful for underwater combat because it has a long range. Look at all these clownfish just going up. I will go up in a minute to collect them, but right now I, I want to check out this village because these guys, maybe they got something to trade. Okay, let's get rid of these, uh, these guys over here with the lightning. Yeah, you guys don't even know what hit you, huh? Drowned zombies. I love this spear so much because it has such good attack range 
And as you can see, these guys, they drop these things called Aquamarine. And uh, it literally says in the, in the item definition that Mermorphs find these stones valuable. So uh, let's see, do they find them valuable? Hey there, buddy. You want to trade? There you go. What do you have for me, dude? Oh, I think it literally dropped this item because my inventory is full. So uh, I have to be careful not to miss stuff. There we go. We are up. Blacksmith treasure box. Let's see, if I open it up, what will we get? Okay, we got a name tag. Mm, it's not that useful. Let's see, do you have anything else to trade, young young man? Young sea man? Blacksmith treasure box, please be something good. We got obsidian. Okay, I mean, obsidian? I'ma take it. I'ma take it, because I don't have a lot of obsidian. Anything else? Let's go. Ooh, magma blocks. That's pretty useful, I guess. I'm throwing out my water buckets because I do have a ton of iron. I really don't need to treasure it. Obsidian is literally more valuable, but coal. Yep, coal. We don't need coal. Give me one more treasure box. We got more magma. Nice, we got more magma. I've got three more uh, aquamarine crystals. You want to trade me something good? Oh, we got a compass. Okay, I'm taking the compass, I guess. We also got to be careful because there are a lot of jellyfish here, I guess. And uh, these guys sting. They sting really badly. Oh, oh no. Okay, it has a big attack range. Got to be careful with these guys. Got to be really careful. Yeah. Gonna drink a potion of regeneration. And uh, let's see, we got uh, another ocean village. But right beside it, we do have a temple, and... Oh, I think I was here. Yeah, I think I cleared this one out, actually, just a few days before. So, uh, I'm not gonna go inside of that one. I'm just gonna get rid of these, uh, fishies over here, and, uh, collect them. Oh, why, why do I miss? There we go. I never miss. I never miss. Let's go, I'm gonna, uh, go ahead and try and find those tropical fishes that I let float to the surface. I think there they are. I'm gonna collect them. That's some good easy, easy food. The ship is literally burnt up to your crisp, I see. I'm gonna throw out, hmm, I'm gonna throw out this arrow, because I don't need it. The clownfish are way more valuable. There we go. Okay. Oh! I, le uh, I left my raft beside the Beside the burning ship, I really, really hope it doesn't catch fire. I have to go ahead and get it real quick. Damn, okay, this looks really interesting, actually. The ship literally burnt to your crisp. Oh, look at how many layers it has. Oh, oh, we got diamonds and emeralds. You know what? I think... Oh, oh, I think... I think this is actually good that we came back. I'm gonna take this. Oh, we got a big magma, magma cube. No, no, no. Get away. Get away. Get away. There we go. I'm gonna take this diamond block. No, no, no. Get away, magma cubes. I don't need your nothing. I don't need your help. I'm gonna go ahead and take more of these diamonds, because diamonds are pretty useless. Uh, useful. I said useful, not useless. 13 diamonds. Let's go. We got even more diamonds. This is a lucky find. Lucky find. These guys, they were packing some treasure in this boat. Okay, I think this is it. We got uh, 21 diamonds. Until I show up. 21 more. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go up into the raft and... Uh, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna try and find another pirate ship, because these things are so useful, actually. So yeah, I'm. let's see, I'm gonna try and find one more. Let's go, we found another pirate ship, actually we found two. Yeah, we found two pirate ships. Oh, this one is looking a little bit more difficult than the previous one. And uh, I don't know, I think I have a new tactic on how to defeat these things. What I'm gonna do is see if there is an opening here. 
Smoke on the water. Ooh, okay. <gasps> yo, yo, these skeletons, I think they fly. The, the ones that just got out of the spawner, they literally fly. We, we got some dolphins in the water. We gotta be careful. Yo, no way. No way. These skeletons, they literally are riding dolphins. We gotta be really careful. I'm just gonna come up close to this pirate ship and I'm gonna hit it with the lightning rod. Boom! There we go. Okay, it's supposed to be on fire. Hopefully, we'll catch fire, it will burn up, and it will leave all the chests. But this actually doesn't stop me from... Uh, oh, we got these skeletons. Why are they not on their horses anymore? It's uh, night time is hitting, so what I'm gonna do is actually try and go from underground. Let's see, is there anything here? Oh, we got a barrel with gunpowder. Let's go, go up. Oh, oh, we got skeletons here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna block this place off like so. Yeah, now these guys can't do nothing. So what do we, ha what do we have in the literal lowest level of the, of the boat? That's a lot of TNT and even flint. Let's go. Yo, these guys have 80 health. This is insane. And uh, they can't hit me for some reason. He was running at me, but then he stopped. 80 health, are you serious? Hold up, where's my spear? Did I throw it out? Okay, I'm gonna... Equip my uh, sword chest. There we go, That's that should be better. Okay, I got this skeleton. Let's get this one as well. Oh, it has a pirate on its, on its shoulder. That's insane. These guys are real pirates. I'm gonna hit this ship with my lightning rod again, just to, you know, sell the sell the real deal to these guys. That I, I'm not joking around. We got we got more diamonds and gold in this place. We also have a lot of bags. I'm gonna heal up, block the pathway. Uh, uh. Go 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 go. What's behind this door? Close it. Oh. We got rid of the skeletons for a little bit. The barrel has uh, water, random fish, emeralds. Hmm. Oh, this is this is their food supply. I see. You know what? I don't mind. If, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I really would like to expand my farm to something else, something more than just bread, pumpkins and watermelons. Yes. Now I can finally fix my uh, scurvy disease. If you guys don't know what scurvy is, it's a thing pirates got because they never ate enough fruits, I think, or vegetables? I'm not sure. Something of that sort, I guess. But it is time to leave, leave the pirate ship. There we go, that skeleton, look at that, he's riding a dolphin. And uh, he's coming straight for us. Oh, and he disembarked from the dolphin, now he's not on it. Okay, let's uh, get back on the raft and go. Because it is, it is dark, it is raining, these skeletons, they literally have an advantage. But did we burn this place up? I think we did. I think we did good. Yes, we did. The lightning just hit that place over there. What I'm gonna do is, uh, before going back home, I will check out this huge skeleton, uh, skeleton statue remain. Oh, no, 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 what's happening? Why is my raft sinking? Are you okay, raft? I'm gonna go up on it. No, 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 no. Please resurface. What is this? I think it was going down because of these circles the magma blocks produce. Yeah, this is definitely not normal. But it's back up now. All good. Now, oh, we got some, uh, we got some creatures over there on the surface. We gotta be careful around them. But what I want to do is check out this chest over here with some uh, some free diamonds and iron. You know what? Of course we need iron. Of course. I'm also going to take just a little bit of these magma blocks because, I don't know, I don't have them on my island. They may get useful. They may become useful at some point. Okay, go, go, go. I'm literally drowning, and I gotta go up. There we go. We are up, and uh, 
Ooh, that ship is still burning. That's good. Okay, time to go back to the base. How many diamonds we got? 33. I call this a very, very successful expedition. Let's let's head back home. Whoa, 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 zombie. Get away. Get away. Oh, I'm not gonna use my lightning rod. Gotta be careful not to burn the whole place down. There we go. The trees have grew tremendously. That's that's a zombie villager. That's a zombie villager. No, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you out of your misery. I'm gonna end it. The farm is again grown nicely. That's pretty good. And we also have a lot of trees that have grown as well. So that's good as well. Oh, we do have an Enderman somewhere around here. He's I think he's playing with us. If I'm being honest. But you know what? A good Enderman is a uh, is an Enderman that doesn't attack you, so don't look, don't look at it, don't look, damn, that, is, that Enderman is really going crazy. He's like, global elite and see us go, I guess, or something. I'm gonna get this skeleton, fake it out. There we go. And I'm gonna sleep till, uh, till daytime, hopefully the rain will stop by then, and then I'm gonna finish off the tree farm, I guess, and... I need some better gear, to be honest, because I do have my iron leggings here, and uh, they're not good. I can craft way better armor with my diamonds now. Just before leaving, I guess I'll uh, enchant my gear just a little bit. Can I? No, I can't enchant my shield, but I'm just going to enchant my armor. So let's go helmet, projectile protection. No, I don't think it's good. Protection to you. Okay, I'm going to take this. How about the shoes? Curse of sinking. No, no, no. Blast protection against creepers. That's good. And then we can do the helmet again. Aqua affinity. Oh, I guess that's good. I think aqua affinity, it makes me swim fast. Guy has 1,000 health. Oh, oh, he's spinning. He's spinning. 
go, 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 shoot him, shoot him. Oh, he, oh, he has 700 health now. I'm gonna use the potion. Hit him again. Oh, he's being damaged by something. Let's go. I'm gonna hit him with uh, a little bit of lightning. Oh, quickly back off, heal up. Okay, I'm gonna build up, uh, build myself some defenses against his death race. There we go, that's better. Okay, he literally sees me, and he is pretty difficult. Let's see, can I, can I attack this guy? I healed myself up using the potion. Can I hit this guy through this back thing? I don't think I can, I wanted to cheese him. Hmm, let's see, what if I, uh... oh, he's at the top over here. Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage. Hold up, is he trapped in that place? I think he is. I think I know how to beat this guy. Well, first I have to get rid of these zombies. Okay, let's go. I can just punch him from the top. Go, got my torches out. Oh, heal up, heal up. I gotta be- I gotta play very careful. I have my potion of regeneration, but I gotta be careful because it does have a cooldown and this guy, when he hits, he hits for a lot of damage. I'm gonna see if I can hit him with my crossbow from here. Okay, not really. Then I have to go in closer. Ugh. Oh, that's- that's a lot of damage. Quickly back off, heal up. That is a lot of damage. I wonder if- can I cheese him if I just, uh break a few blocks here and then just kind of do this oh okay no never mind what if i break more blocks hmm i'm gonna heal up is there something punching me it's no way it's him i'm not supposed to be taking any damage okay there he is oh 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 that's a lot of damage now i just uh, block it off like this yes there we go i think i'm cheesing him I think I am cheesing him. That's good. You always have to find just the boss's weakness and it's really easy to then defeat him. Just find a weakness. Build a little a, li a little place, a little little hidey hole. Where you can just hit him and he can't hit you back. That's how you always get him. Not gonna lie guys, one of the easiest bosses I ever did. Even though he has 700 health, maybe there is a phase 2 for him, so he will revive. Maybe not, let's hope not. Last few hits. Please don't, please don't be a second second phase or anything. Please just die. Oh no, I think he, he's bigger. He literally got bigger. Yep, this is a phase 2. This is a phase 2. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I, I can do this. I can do this. Just punch him over here. And the texture. He's uh, charging his ray, but I, I just hope that he can't hit me. Uh, go, 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 go behind the temple, behind inside of the temple. There we go, okay. So he is at half health. I gotta be careful, because he did leave this temple. I'm gonna uh, get rid of these uh, little small guardians, so they wouldn't mess me up while I'm fighting the big guy. There we go, got him. There he is! That's the scary- Oh, that's the scary monster, and he is so fast. Oh, that's a- Oh, I don't know. Is that a big guardian? I don't know. Let me just quickly get this guy. There we go, I got rid of these guys. So, most of them are down. But I still got the boss. I gotta defeat the boss. Okay, I'm gonna try and cheese him again by breaking the wall. Is he here somewhere? Yes, he is. He's looking straight at me. Oh, oh, oh no, I, I was pulled out. I was literally pulled out. Go, go, go. Come inside of the base again. There we go. We are safe. I think he spawns in those little purple minions that literally make, uh, make you pull, pull towards him. Yeah, they make you go towards him for some reason. Okay, I was uh, lying when I said that this boss fight is pretty easy. I, I cannot see anything. What is going on? I'm gonna get rid of these other guys. It is already daytime. It is already daytime, so uh, this is a long fight. But I believe I can do this. He just spawns in so many mobs, it's kind of difficult to clear them out. But when, when you do, he's literally open. 
Okay, now I'm gonna swim out. There he is. He's... Oh, he's gone a long way. Hey there, buddy. Come back. Come back. I, we, we... You gotta finish what you started. Whoa, look at all these mobs. Okay, we gotta be real careful. I think I have to make a little, um... Trap for him. I do have TNT. So if I do this... There we go. That's two TNT. I have my lightning rod. It will literally, um... Get this TNT blown up. All I need is for this guy just to come close. I'm gonna eat a golden apple. Oh yeah, you see me? You see me, huh? Don't you? Okay, now I'm running away. Go, go, go. And he should follow me. Come on, dude. You gotta, you gotta follow me. Why is he running away? I think he's on low health. That's why he's running away. Can I finish him off like this? Yes, I did. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, I think I got something. He, oh, he dropped a lot of stuff. He did drop a lot of stuff, and I already picked up a little bit. Okay, I didn't have to use the TNT, it seems. It seems I didn't have to use the TNT, but whoa, this place is a minefield. I gotta be careful not to aggro these guys. His stuff probably floated up, but what did he drop? <gasps> All my gear is broken. Okay, I'm gonna quickly craft myself a chest plate. At least a chest plate. At least a chest plate. That way... That way, I'm, I'm gonna be safe. I mean, uh, just a little bit. Oh no, we don't have a lot of air in our scuba mask anymore. So quickly go up. There we go, we are up. And that's the stuff he dropped. Let's see, what did we get? I see an anchor. I see some uh, helmets, boots. Oh, that's looks that looks like a full armor set. Glow squid. Okay, I'm gonna equip this. We got new boots, good. We got a glow squid chest plate, and it's it's a little bit better than my diamond one that I just crafted. So I, I pretty much wasted just my ammo. I get, I mean, my diamonds, I guess. But uh, okay, we we are looking pretty good. Anything else? Encrusted anchor, <gasps> sixteen damage. I think that's a little bit too powerful, to be honest. But he also dropped a guardian eye. Ooh. Yo, okay, so this is a kind of a scube you can use to shoot things. It doesn't uh, light up the TNT, unfortunately. But let's see, is it useful against these guys? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it's so cool. This is so nice. Get, get this one, get this one. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. Okay, go up, go up, go up, go up, 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 up. I forgot that I uh, don't have my scuba mask on, so I, I must be drowning. Oh, there we go. The surface. What the? Where is my raft? I think this guy, he literally destroyed my raft. That's not good. I mean, I do see a ship over there, over there, I guess. I don't know if I looted it up, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. We also got a gold a bubble bow. I'm not sure if it's any good. Let me see. I'm gonna charge it up and shoot. And yeah, I don't. I don't think anything happened. We do got. Uh, we do have these squid people on the surface of the water. They're usually friendly, so I'm gonna leave them be. No, no, no! Drowned zombie! I'm gonna hit you with an uh, encrusted anchor. Oh, okay. Four damage. 14 damage, okay. Okay, this thing can hit literally for 14 damage. That's pretty powerful. I'm coming up to the ship underwater, so if there are anybody, uh, anyone on the surface, they would not see me coming up to their ship. Okay. There's a lot of sea people, and uh, there are villages around this place, so I'm wondering if this ship is actually maybe friendly. Only one way to find out, I guess. Oh, it's looking like one of those ships we were on before. So it's another ghost ship. Oh, that explains why it has uh, these vines growing on the sides and stuff. The barrels are all empty, but you know what? I I'm running out of space in my base, so I'm just gonna take them, I guess. Because they are... They, they look a little bit better than normal chests. And what... Oh, no, no, no. I need my torches. What do we have? Over here. Oh! Okay, I fell. Let's go, go, go. I'm gonna get this skeleton. Where is my... 
Where is my guardian eye? I'm gonna test it out on these, uh, on these dudes. Oh yeah, this is good. This is real good. It's like a crossbow, but it's automated. Long range weapon. Oh, get the silver fish. And these guys as well. It's like I'm playing Doom. And we also got a diamond, a diamond block over there. That's sick. But first, what do we, what do we have in this chest? We got a. Oh, let's go. We got golden apples. Nothing much here. Oh, another golden apple. Can I drink my potion? Okay, I think I. F oh, another golden apple. I think this is it. Let's uh, use this thing to get rid of these mobs. Where is my pickaxe? I'm gonna break these spawners so uh, these mobs they would stop spawning and they would leave me alone. Leave me alone, guys! No, no. Oh, cartography table. No, no, no. I don't need it. That's a lot of mobs. That is so many mobs. Why? Why are there so many mobs here? There we go, I deleted this thing. And get rid of this skeleton. Delete this spawner as well. By the way, uh, these spawners, when you delete them, they drop you these things called spirit orbs. And I do have a Godo statue, I think, or Godor statue at my base. So I can pretty much uh, increase my health or my stamina if I collect them. There we go. I thought it was a goner for a little bit. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. We got a trident, emerald blocks, a diamond block. Looking good. Okay, back to 25 diamonds. It's like I never even used them up. Gonna get these emeralds as well. And I'm gonna get this trident. I know that they're not that powerful, but you know what? Can't, I can't choose in this scenario. I'm gonna put this place on fire and uh, leave. Because uh, if I put it on fire, that means I know in the future that I've been here. And I lead it up. Oh, I lead it up everything. Whew. Okay, that was uh, not in my plan. Use the lightning rod again. Okay. Oh, yep. That's a lot of sea people. Yeah, just like I said. Oh, by the way, uh... I lost my raft, so I guess I have to um, have to craft myself a boat. Luckily, I do have a little bit of wood left. No, get away, drowned zombie! I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, let's go. Let's go back home. I think I, w I literally got what I was asking for. I, I got so much more armor, so many more new cool toys I can I can play with. Look at this golden anchor. It literally does 14 attack damage. That's insane. But it is time to go back home to the stranded island. <gasps> oh, is that one of those uh, sea witches that sing? Let's see, uh, what happens if I come close to you? Oh, it's enchanting me! I can't move! I can't move! No, please, please! It's enchanting me with its song and is it gonna eat me? No, 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 please don't eat me. Okay, it's a siren. It's a sea siren. Ah, hit it, hit it. Oh, it has a lot of health.
island. I think it is time I uh, drop some garbage I don't need. I think it's time to get the trees. Let's see how much wood we can get from this one harvest from the forest. Because uh, I spent a lot of wood, a lot of wood on the, the mob farm. And I want to know, am I good on wood or did I use a little bit too much? <laughs> These trees, they are growing so close to each other. It's pretty nuts. You can't even go through the forest like that. Reminds me, by the way, of uh, a forest I used to live nearby. It was so uh, so thick as well, and you could literally not walk past it. It was man-made. And, uh, yeah, one thing that stuck with me in that forest is uh, there were so many spiders in that place. They were on little branches, making their nests, and uh, I don't know, it was terrifying, guys. Ooh. Okay, so we got one stack, two stack, and we literally still didn't even... We didn't go through even half of the forest. Hmm. Throw out my magma. Pick up these blocks. That's so much wood. So much wood, okay. Yep, just as I knew. Uh, the forest, the wood, it's, it's not a problem. Yep, it's literally not a problem. The wood is not a problem. Uh, this island it had a lot of trees at this very start, so uh, luckily I never had to have a tree shortage. There we go. I think we got it all. I think we got it all. Oh, okay, and now these little saplings are starting to grow, the ones that literally couldn't because of the other trees. Let's see, I'm gonna pick up the rest of these blocks, and I'm gonna see how many stacks of wood that I get. Hmm, I think this is it. So we got one, two, three, four, and uh, just a little bit. more sapling there we go oh okay maybe we do not need such a big tree farm because uh, I'm pretty sure we don't have any problems with uh, wood so uh, yeah I mean it's gonna grow and it's gonna be good I'm gonna harvest it and then I think I, I'll have to move my tree farm somewhere just like my weed farm so it didn't take up a lot of space make like a little circle beside the island and uh, plant them all there because uh, I need my space on the island. Hey guys, so this is day 100. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, then subscribe to the channel down below. And I'll see you in the next.